This is a vintage pencil sharpener. It's a Perfect Point is the name of that one. Read it. Made in America. And it's mounted on this little uh, wooden pencil box. Nice little metal drawer to catch your shavings. And uh, this is from the uh, uh, pencil sharpener collection I bought uh, probably two years ago now. Still got a few left, but I've sold most of them. And this one went for $50. This is a pair of uh, Salvatore Ferragamo shoes. I bought a bunch of these a uh, number of years ago and I have a few left after that auction. Um, these are sort of a satin black with a cap toe. And uh, these sold. I think this is the second time I've sold them because this looks like I already packed them up for one time. But uh, yeah, I took a best offer of $20 on these. This is a box of uh, pipe filters, medical pipe filters. And uh, I've got a, a whole bunch of these uh, in a box lot of uh, Tabacchiana, mostly pipes and pipe holders. And so I uh, put these up for seven bucks a box. I've only sold a couple boxes, but uh, finally sold another one. I already have it disassembled for uh, packing, but this is a uh, record stand, a record player and record stand that uh, I sold for $175. Did take a while to sell this, uh, being uh, how large it is or how expensive I put it up for. But uh, it's in real good condition. I've not seen one quite like this. It does have wheels, so wheel it around. I guess I was able to get $175 for this, but uh, it won't be fun packing. I think I'll use this uh, box I got from eBay with my free shipping supplies. This is an old uh, speaker. It's made by Crosley for their uh, old bread box radios, they used to call them. These are from the uh, late 20s. And uh, it requires a, a field coil. It doesn't have a magnet in itself, so uh, it does require a field coil. Uh, and it's got these four leads, and I don't have a radio to test it, so I don't know whether it works or not. I did find out the uh, color is original, and it's Mandarin Red. And uh, I found this on Facebook Marketplace, and I uh, cleaned it up, shined up the... Uh, brass badge a little bit and uh, was able to sell this for $85. Another blank 8-track. Yes, the uh, creation of mixtapes on 8-track is still alive. Uh, this one's an odd 32-minute one. I got a whole bunch of these when I bought a bunch of 8-tracks uh, uh, last year and probably the year before. And uh, these are selling for $9 each. This is a lot of four seven inch reel tape. Uh, these are Sony branded SLH 180s. They've got music on them. And uh, the boxes show a little bit of wear, but I was able to sell these four for uh, $40. Another wireless doorbell sold. Uh, that first one I'd only had for a couple of months. This one I've had for a few years. It's a uh, Hampton Bay. And this one sold for $12. This is a uh, Coleman metal cooler, steel belted, they usually refer to these as. Uh, this one's been up for sale for quite some time. It's real clean, nothing wrong with it. I guess I priced it pretty high, but it did finally sell for my uh, asking price of $95. Oh, this weird contraption came out of a Lowry organ somebody had put up on Facebook Marketplace for free. And I knew it had one of these uh, tremolo units. These were actually made by CBS. And it consists of this uh, styrofoam uh, drum with baffles in it. And uh, the idea is that uh, you plug this speaker into your guitar amp and then uh, apply power to the uh, motor and it will spin this giving a uh, tremolo effect. And uh, I actually made a little video of it uh, using it and it does sound pretty cool. 
It took quite a while to sell, but I did get my asking price of $175. Now this is a voltmeter. Uh, it's actually tube powered uh, voltmeter and this is a Heath kit. Still got the assembly manual with it and the, uh, the probes. And it does work just fine. And I always pick up these Heath kits when I see them. This came from the basement of a estate sale. I like to rummage around through the stuff that they don't even have marked so I get stuff really cheap. I was able to sell this. Actually, I had it up for 130, but I got a best offer of $102 for it today. This is a, a denim chore coat. It's blanket lined. It's got some nice uh, shiny buttons on it. And this one is made by Lee Wrangler. And uh, although I tried for a lot more, I finally did get, did get a best offer of uh, $55 for this. This is the uh, tuner knob, the VHF tuner knob, for an Admiral TV, an old portable Admiral. It's also got the uh, fine tuning knob. And uh, this came off of a TV that I got for free and uh, was unable to get it working. So parting it out is the way to go, and I got $20 for this pair. This is a Chevy or a GMC truck. Uh, inside door handle, uh, part of a lot of brand new parts that I was bidding on uh, a few months ago. And I've sold quite a few of the parts now. And this door handle uh, sold for $50. I think I paid $2.50 for it. Another uh, BSR turntable sold. These are quite common. I think when I finally retire in the next year or so, I may just do these. I can uh, turn one of these around as far as restoring it in about 45 minutes. And uh, lately I've been upping my price on these and this one sold for $225. This is a ashtray stand or even a plant stand and it's made out of uh, horse tack. Just welded together art that uh, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a stick shift somebody had uh, welded some things to. It just uh, was picked up at an auction uh, probably five or six years ago, and it's just sat in uh, front of my uh, house as sort of a yard decoration. And uh, I saw someone else with one similar for sale, and uh, so I said, well, now that I know what it is, let me put it up for sale. And it sold pretty quick for $30. This is a big, heavy, uh, one-inch tape dispenser. I use these all the time. But I've been waiting to find one that uh, is a two-inch that would fit my uh, eBay tape, uh, packing tape, and clear tape that I often buy. I need to buy one of those. I've been suffering without one for so long, thinking I'd find one at a garage sale. But uh, so far, I've only come across these one-inch ones. Maybe I'll have to go on eBay and see if I can find a, a two-inch dispenser. In any case, this nice heavy one sold for $25. This is an 8-track player for your car mounted under the dash. Uh, this kind of got thrown in on a stereo buy that I made. And uh, I took it apart and replaced the belt, cleaned it up. And it sold locally before it sold on uh, eBay. Uh, and it sold for $80. Well, this is a pair of uh, tweeters. Little uh, three and a half inch uh, speakers out of a RCA console that I picked up. Uh, let's see, I got this for $20. Uh, I mostly wanted it for the turntable, which I've already started to uh, um, uh, service. But these uh, speakers will often sell this is from the 1960s. It was sort of a hybrid, it had both a tube preamp and a solid state power amp. But it's got the electrolytic capacitor. Uh, for the crossover, uh, probably need to replace that, but uh, that'll be up to the buyer who paid uh, $25 for these. This is a vintage 1960s uh, Schwinn uh, Varsity, uh, a bicycle I picked up at an auction a number of years ago. Had thought about uh, maybe doing some restoration work on it. It does ride and shift just fine the way it is, and. Finally, uh, cleaning out the garage this summer, I put it up for sale on Facebook Marketplace. And uh, 
it is minus 15 out right now and somebody bought it on Facebook Marketplace, paid me via Venmo, and I got $100 for it. Another lot of uh, pre-recorded reel-to-reel tapes. This is, uh, again, Maxell, a little different uh, model, a little older, I believe. But uh, they've all got pre-recorded rock music. I actually listened to this one. I like Bonnie Raitt a lot. And uh, I was able to get $60 for this uh, lot of five tapes.